we will look at how to do um, the big four operations which is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division with decimals. Now first up we will look at addition and subtraction. Now addition and subtraction with decimals in daily life we have been using this one um, when we are dealing with money for example when you go supermarket buying things um, that's where you make use of uh, addition and subtraction with decimal. So let's have a look at adding decimal first. Right? Addition and subtraction with decimal is similar to working with whole number. As long as you know how to set up the problem correctly, then you are in good shape. So in summary, to set up decimals, you follow these steps here. Step number one. You arrange the numbers in a column and line up the decimal points vertically. Right. And then you add as usual column by column from right to left. Right. So let's have a look here for example if you want to add 14.5 plus 1.89. Right. So to do the addition is best to put them in column, okay? 14.5 where you line up the decimal place together, right? 1.89 plus, okay? In this case, once we line out the decimal place together, 5 and we learn that adding a trailing zero behind a decimal place does not change the value. So we can add a zero here. Okay, after 5, right? So then we can proceed with the usual addition, right? So that will give us 9, 8 uh, plus 5 is 3, and 8 plus 5 is 13. So we write 3 here and we carry 1 over, right? So in this case here, the decimal will remain the s at the same position here. So 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6 and 1 plus 1. So 16.39. Right? Now if you want to add out more than two numbers, for example 15.1 plus 0 0.005 plus 1.2345, right? You will do the same. You put them in a column where you line up the decimal place together. 0 0.05 and then 1.23 Four five, right? Again, the the vacant space here we can fill it with zero, right? So once we do that, we will proceed as usual, right? So zero zero five addition five nine three three, and then that's where the dec decimal point is six one, right? So that's how we do addition of decimal. Now subtracting decimal uses the same trick as adding them. So step number one is also to arrange the numbers in column and line out the decimal point and then we will do subtraction as usual. For example if we want to do 144.87 minus 0 0.321 right? So following step number one here we will put them in column 144.87 and then 0 0.321 right minus right as usual we can add in a zero here and then we will proceed to do the subtraction as usual now zero cannot minus one so we need to borrow one okay borrow one right so once we do that this one becomes six and here we will have ten Right? So 10 minus 1, we get 9. After that, 6 minus 2, we get 4. 8 minus 3, we get 5. And then this is our decimal point. So 4. And then now, what happened to the vacant space here? Now remember, in front, the 0, we can add in 0 and it will not change the value here. So this is equivalent to saying that 4 minus 0, so we get 4, 1, right? So that is subtraction.
right? The remember addition and subtraction, the most important thing for you to do is to line up the decimal points together vertically. After that, you carry on addition or subtraction as usual.